All right, welcome back. So we've got almost all of our insulation done on our walls. I actually ran out of insulation, so I have to buy some more. But as you can see, we've taped it. And we started with this foil tape, which we liked at first, but then realized that it wasn't as good as this 3M foil tape. This 3M 3350, it's UL tested and rated, and it's just so much better. Um, mainly because this foil tape, when it got really hot, it would just kind of like come off. The stick on was still sticky, but it just didn't want to stay attached. So we got this tape, and this tape is really holding up well. So we're pleased with that. And then, we got this side, so you can see I ran out of the boards, but we got the wood off. We took the window out, that's what you're seeing here, is the window is actually just a hole in the side and it's taped up. And then as soon as we get the last couple of pieces of boards of insulation, I just gotta fill in this hole here and then fill in the rest of that over there and then we can put those boards back on so what we'll end up doing when i get my extra set of hands we'll finish taping we gotta tape that one there and then we gotta tape this here and then tape this here and then tape this up here and then we'll go ahead and tape these ones that are completely filled so we'll get all of that taped up all of that up there and then we can put the wood panels back on this side um the wood panels when they came they actually didn't go all the way to the top of the wall so I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do to fill in like the last little bit. So either I'll buy more wood and cut it to fit and screw it on, or maybe I'll find some molding. I don't know. I have to go look and see what will work. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, and then we're gonna buy more insulation and we're going to install it between these bars so it'll go up in here and then we'll just tape it in like we've taped this and then i've seen a lot of people just paint it so i think that's what i'm going to end up doing because you don't want to put wood on the ceiling because it'll just make it really heavy and i don't want to add any more weight to the trailer itself because then i'll have less weight to be able to put in the trailer to pack stuff so that'll be the next thing to do then I gotta figure out how I'm going to insulate around these edges here. I've started on this side and put this little bit here, as you can see, and I tuck pieces behind here. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just kind of shoving some in here somehow. But I've gotta work around all my wires and everything. So I think that's what I'll end up doing. And then I think I need to get insulation from behind here. So this wooden piece will come off and then I'll fill all of this up with insulation. And then I've still yet to figure out what to do with my ramp door. Um, I'm assuming that it doesn't have any insulation. So I'm gonna probably have to take this wood off and look inside and see if there's even space to fit insulation. And if there is, then I'll go ahead and cut pieces to fit, put it in there, and then um, reinstall the wood. And I'm gonna have to take off these. Uh, these are the, the locks. So the thing that this attaches to, that this slides on, <coughs> that's what all of this is. So I'll have to take that off and it comes off the front. And then once I get insulation in, 
I'll have to figure out if I need to drill holes into the insulation to get these bolts back through or if there's actually a beam that's running down there and those bolts are actually just you know beamed or bolted through a beam like like a this thing which that would make it a whole lot easier because the insulation will just go around it so let's cross our fingers and hope that that's the way this is built that there's maybe a beam a beam and then maybe a couple more beams well actually you can see where that screw is that's a beam where this screw is that's a beam because you can see all the screws in the line so i don't know how this is maybe it's just beams that come out and it's braced to fit that so we'll see we'll just gotta take it apart and see but you can see the screws there so you know those are beams so yeah so anyway that is pretty much where we are right now um it's been a little slow going just because uh, it gets a little hot, so I just do a couple hours in the morning every morning, and I mean, it's COVID. I have time. So, just taking it one little bite at a time. So, I've got to paint that panel up here because it hasn't been painted yet. So, I'll probably do that tomorrow morning, and then we'll be good to go. And we'll start installing these back on, and yeah. And we will uh, keep you posted on what it looks like next.